So the next design that we are going to make is of this diamond. It's very easy to make, but it looks very beautiful. So let's begin with this one. For this, we will again start a new design. And then we will create a sketch in any of the horizontal plane. Now, remember to switch on 3D sketch for this particular design concept because it removes the planner restriction and allows you to create sketch geometry anywhere in 3D space. Now invoke polygon circumscribed polygon command and you can see these orientation commands, these orientation tools are also available to you. This is what 3D sketch is all about. It gives you a freedom to utilize the 3D space, the 3D canvas the best possible way. Now select the center and as you can see when I drag the mouse, It's creating the sketch in the 3D space. Now we don't want any specific dimension. So let it be somewhere around 50. Press tab and let's provide the number of edges as 12. Just left click or press enter and finish the sketch. And now we will need some angular dimensions, which is very much required because uh, Lateral dimensions are not at all mandatory, but angular dimensions are very much required. The reason for the same is certain angles of original diamond are bound to remain somewhat similar. But we can change the size of diamond. There is no issue with that. But we need to fix the angular dimensions. For this, I have downloaded something. This I have downloaded from Google. So we are having like 40.75 degrees over here and 34.5 degrees over here. So let's try to make this one. So for this, first select this region, right click, press pull. As we can see, this one was 40.75. All right. So just drag this handle downwards. Again, we are not uh, taking into consideration the lateral or translational dimensions. We are only considering the angular dimension 40.75. It would be obviously minus and just drag this handle so that we are getting a pointed edge just like this and click on OK. Now. If I select this region once again and press pull it upwards, it will simply increase the size, which is not desirable. So what we will do for creating this particular area over here, we will simply select this region and use extrude. And here you will understand the difference between press pull and extrude. Let's say the taper angle is minus 5 degrees and just drag the handle gently upwards and click on OK. Operation would be obviously join. Next we are having this uh, yeah. 34.5 degree over here for this particular area. So for this, we will again select this region. We will again invoke the extrude command or simply press E in the keyboard. And let's give the taper angle as 34.5 degree. So this would be again minus, minus 34.5 degrees and just drag this handle upward and you will see the formation of diamond. I think this much would be sufficient or let it be 12. And we are almost done. Just click on OK. So the basic formation is being made. 
now we need these intricate details and for the same reason we are using 3d sketch this you will understand when we get into it so for creating these details first we need to create a plane through three points for this select this point this one and this one click on ok now on this newly created plane create a new sketch and as you can see we are able to create in 3d space because we are having this 3d sketch option marked in the sketch palette now invoke the line command select this point select this point select this and just close the region finish the sketch now from here as you know you can show or hide the entities over here this is your browser so just hide the bodies select this region show the body right click press pull drag the handle and cut it that's it this small detail has been added now we need it all over the diamond so for this simply go to pattern circular pattern for type let's select feature and select it from the timeline now for the axis obviously we can select this one the middle one and here let's say 6 click on ok so here you go your diamond is all ready we just need to provide a rendering to it so for that simply go to workspace over here and go to render now here you can click a in the keyboard or simply press here and you can provide a rendering of your choice 